Hello, I'm Graham Robson, Technical Manager at TAMA. Here at TAMA, we know the most important thing for you is bailing without having to stop. A baler that has stopped is costing you money. Many things might force you to stop. Make sure your twine choice is not one of them. A twine needs to work well in a very complicated knotting mechanism. It has to be able to make and retain a secure knot every time. Now the price of twine does relate directly to the quality. In other words, you get what you pay for. Here are some things you might want to think about. Raw material. The thickness of the original plastic tape has an impact on what you can do to it later in the production process. A thick plastic tape produces twine that is stiff and less flexible. A big risk. Stiff twine makes knotting more difficult. Often the tails in the knot are much shorter. Short tail knots can easily come open on the bale. This is critical on double knot balers, especially the number two knot, the bale opening knot. The twist of the twine. How many twists per meter has the twine got? Is it well twisted or is it loose? A tighter twisted twine performs much better in the knotting mechanism, reducing risks of the knot failing. The thickness of the twine has a big impact also. Traditionally, twine was made stronger by making it thicker, but there's a problem if it is too thick. The bill hook only opens a small way. If the twine is too thick, it becomes impossible for the bill hook to form a good knot. The result? Either short tails that will open the knot on the bale, or, worse still, the twine might become trapped on the bill hook, ending up with major damage to the knotting mechanism. If your goal is to bale without stopping, twine performance is much more important than the price. For any help you might need, visit Tama Assist. I'm sure we can help you there. Thanks for listening.